Well, the nonprofit leaders say that last time Montgomery County saw an influx of undocumented minors, officials were not prepared. But this time around, there is a plan that has more people working together. Montgomery County is uh, doing things in a way that it didn't do before. And that's giving Diego Uribori the hope he needs. As the founder of Identity, he's been serving thousands of Latin children every year, many of whom are undocumented. We focus on three main areas, social emotional supports, workforce and employment services, and education. But those same services Uribori is now working to expand. County officials expect to receive 3,000 unaccompanied migrant children by this year. That means having to scale up staff and adding more activities to help the children feel at home. We are trying to see what it would take to increase our capacity in order to absorb the need that we know is coming. He says his organization can help create a stable environment and reunite families. If not, some can fall prey to the same problem they were trying to flee from their country. We are also concerned about what gangs will, will do because they know they're coming also. So they're preparing themselves to try to recruit. Oh, yo solo me vine caminando. Tito Martinez is 35 years old now, but was 23 when he came to the country from El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador es bonito, uh, he says, I came here alone walking and I was seeking a better life. El Salvador is beautiful, but I had problems with gangs and I had to flee. Despite a gang attacking him here, he never joined one. More than a decade later, he has a stable life and urges the migrant children who arrive to stay focused. He says, if they make it, take advantage of the many opportunities this country offers and to work hard, and I hope God will help them. And when the community doesn't accept them, then we are basically serving these young people on a, on a plate. And Montgomery, uh, Montgomery County Police say they are working with the Department of Health and Human Services to address gang preventative measures. There have been 104 children who have resettled in Montgomery County with family or other sponsors. But this data is about two months old, officials say, and likely there is more already here. And this does not include those children who were able to enter this county that were not found at the border. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Yeah, clearly a lot of work to do to make sure they're all settled. Matthew, thank you so much. And while the Biden administration works to reunite thousands of families that were separated over the last four years, thousands of children are in mass shelters. The Associated Press is reporting those, those 200 facilities are in more than two dozen states. Now, the number of immigrant children in government custody more than doubled since March. And right now, the U.S. is taking care of about 21,000 children.